This video shows the option for noise prediction. The option for noise prediction is available in type C and type D configuration of noise at work. With the option for noise prediction, the noise prediction bar is available. So next to the five default bars, project info, drawing, workspaces, measurements and contours, also the noise prediction bar is available. However, when noise prediction is available, some other options have extra functionality, like the contours bar. With the option for noise prediction, you can now choose to see the noise levels based on measured values, or to see the noise levels based on calculated values, based on sources. Because we have not entered sources yet in this project, you do not see any noise contours. So let's go back to the noise prediction and enter sources. I click on the button new and I position the noise source on this location. Sources can be given a name, source 1, a directivity, 1 means free field, 2 means on the ground, 4 near a wall and 8 in a corner. Next you have to enter the sound power level. Let's say that the sound power level is 105 dB. Then automatically noise at work will calculate the noise levels in the workspace. If you enter a second source, noise at work will automatically accumulate both sources. Let's say that the noise the sound power level is a little bit lower. And this source is 95. So now you see the accumulated noise level based on two sources. Next to the sound power level, you can also show and set the height of the source, 1.5 meter as a default. Switching back to the contours back tab page. Here you can select to see the noise levels based on sources or to see the noise levels based on measurements. However, if these two sources will be placed in the future and the measurements are the current situation, you can select the accumulated levels. And now you see the accumulated levels of the measured noise levels and the calculated noise levels. So the accumulated situation is a prediction in the future where two new sources are present in the workspace. So with the option noise prediction, the noise prediction bar is available, the options for sources and accumulated option is available. There's also a third change in functionality based on the noise prediction option and that's in the workspaces. Now you also have the option to locate barriers within the workspace. Let's go back to the contours and select the noise contours based on sources. Go to the workspaces and I want to position a barrier in the workspace. I click on the option new and I locate the barrier close to this source. Automatically noise at work calculates the new noise contours including the barrier attenuation. A barrier can be given a height, default is 2 meters, also make it higher, 3 meters. And also the workspaces now need to have a height and an average absorption factor of all the walls, the ceiling and the floor of the workspace. Per default it's set to 0 0.25. So the noise prediction option allows you to enter noise sources in workspaces. You have to set the height of each workspace and the average absorption factor. With the option noise prediction you can enter noise sources, not only the overall sound power level but also the octave band sound power levels can be used. 
And in the contour tab page, you can select to see the noise levels based on measured values, based on calculated values, or based on accumulated levels. This concludes the presentation of the noise prediction option. Thank you for your attention.